always kind of under the fear that the planet's going to explode. Why China? Uh, I can't think of anywhere else in the world where you can get projects like this done. Working in a completely different culture, a different mindset, a different language, and to be able to turn out something like this is, I mean, it's pretty unbelievable. The lychee garden is a kind of sanctuary in the midst of the industrial heartland of southern China. We've built a new village for the design staff that come from all over the world. And the idea was to have the minimum possible impact on the established trees. It is about the people. How do you get those people together, working together, all these different personalities? To create an environment where they can actually get together and interact is something really unusual. It's just the shape of the building, really. It allows the ideas just to just, just float in your head and float around. The central meeting place is a prototype passive house built to German passive house standard, which is the highest in the world. The equivalent of the energy to run a kettle, to boil a kettle, to power the lights in the building. I think that's fantastic. The concept is uh, 80 individual panels of four different types that could potentially bolt together anywhere in the world. They were the biggest pieces we've ever had to make. They had to all fit together seamlessly. The original goal was to create something really beautiful, which I think you could in Asia, that fitted in a container that you can feel that someone has really thought about this and thought, how can I do this better, different, my way? We've used a lot of reclaimed materials, bricks, timber from the local villages. Nothing went unthought about. Everything lines up. It's also a comforting environment because we're literally sitting in the middle of nature. L'environnement est important quand on est quand on est designer puisque le fait d'être dans un milieu heureux avec des gens agréable dans une atmosphère détendue, ça permet de les idées jaillir, laisser libre cours à son imagination. After living in China for a year in very basic accommodation, I had the idea that you wanted to retreat to a kind of cocoon. Simple, organic design, beauty just in simplicity. It's an interesting company. They have designers from all over the world come for short or long stays who live here permanently or a whole mix and they interact uh, to discuss projects and the best, often the best ideas come in the informal times. The beauty of me of the Lychee Garden is one when you arrive that circle is awesome because tunnels draw you. You're drawn in and you're sucked in like a fallopian tube. Like... <laughs> The party tonight is largely for the Chinese contractors. We've got the traditional ceremony required for a new building. The firecrackers are to chase away the lost ghosts, the irony being that we are guaylos or lost ghosts here in China. Often the best ideas come in the downtimes when people, designers, get together and actually just discuss things that aren't related to design. And that is what this company is trying to do. I can't believe I'm in the central China in this lychee garden. I mean, I think it's one of the most beautiful places I've been to in the world. <laughs>